Hey, it's Philip here. Very welcome to today's Toy for Tip. Today, I wanted to show you how you can schedule your Facebook posts, your Instagram posts, and a Facebook Reel from within Facebook's Meta Business Suite. So stay tuned. Okay, so when you're on your Facebook page, I want you to click on Meta Business Suite. So the Meta Business Suite, this is a fantastic resource. You know, when you're on the home page, have a look through this because you'll be able to get insights, you'll be able to find out what's new, you'll be able to kind of see any sort of comments or actions that you need to be taking on your Facebook page. Now, there's a whole host of elements down here. Um, I'm not gonna go through them here. I really wanna just focus on how you can create a post and create a Facebook Reel. So the simplest way is you'll notice up here on the top, you have create a post, create a Reel. So let's go click create a post. So the first thing is obviously you can choose whether you want the post for your Facebook page or you want the page at the post for your Instagram. So let's just choose for the purpose of this, the Facebook page. Then I'm going to add a photo. And I'm just going to use this one. You'll also be able to see on the right hand side, uh, Facebook gives you a preview. So you'll see a desktop preview. And if you click on mobile, you'll see a mobile preview. But just like you would on a normal um, uh, Facebook post, in your caption and put any hashtags a link to your website or a download whatever it is you want to put in your caption you can also obviously down the bottom here add emojis you can add a location for your posts you can add a button where people if you want people to message you directly from the post you can boost it from a, a facebook ads perspective or you can run some tests but let's just keep it easy for today's tutorial now then when you come down here, you can publish that post straight away if you want, but let's just say, which is the beauty of this tool, you wanna to schedule this for a later date. You just click on schedule. Here it will actually will default to today's date and it will default to the time that obviously you're doing this at. So let's just say I want to schedule this at a much later time, like so. I can then just hit schedule and that will schedule the post. Now there is a button down here called active times. If you click on this, this is quite interesting. Uh, and let's just hover over the, the information button. You'll see what it says is that recommendations are based on when your followers were most active on Facebook in the last seven days. So what Facebook is telling me is that it believes my Facebook fans, followers are most active at eight o'clock in the evening, both today, tomorrow and Saturday. So what I would recommend you do is that you actually maybe test this out. Why don't you post your post or schedule your post for the time you believe your fans are active and then maybe tweak the post by creating a different image but using the same caption and schedule it at the time that Facebook is recommending and see what is the difference. Do you get more engagement on the time you suggested or the time that Facebook suggested or is it very much no difference at all? And then once you're you're ready, you can actually click schedule. And once you click schedule, what will happen is it will automatically open up on the Facebook planner. This is like what I call Facebook's editorial calendar. You'll get to see all of the Facebook posts that you have scheduled so you can keep a track of what you have scheduled and what you haven't scheduled. And it's the same principle when you want to schedule a Facebook reel, you would go back to the home page, like so, you would this time click Reel. Now this is Facebook Reels. Um, you'll know that it's a Facebook Reel because obviously it says Facebook Reel Preview here on the right hand side. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this Reel by adding our video. I've got a test Reel here, so I'm just gonna open that up. And obviously what it will do is it's going to now process this reel to upload it. Now when your reel is uploaded, you can obviously, there's a couple of things that we need to do. So obviously first put in your caption and obviously include your caption, uh, hashtags, etc, uh, etc. Et you can then obviously choose the thumbnail for your reel. So you can either choose what um, Facebook is suggesting for you. You'll see what it's choosing by the denotion of the blue tick. 
but obviously you can choose your own frame by scrolling and screwing through the video or you can upload an image if you have a collaborator you can just to find out more just highlight on the information tab and they'll talk to you what collaborative reels are and if that's relevant for your reel you can just put in the collaborator's name or their URL then click next now once again for businesses I tend to kind of say it's probably best to do all of your video reel editing adding music which is obviously copyright free and it will have no copy strikes against you have all that done because when you're a business you have to be mindful that obviously music is copyrighted so I tend to not do anything here I don't enhance or let Facebook do any enhancement I like to do it all myself before I upload the video so just click next and then very simply it's like we had with the post you can share that reel now you can schedule it or you can save it as a draft so but you will notice here that there is no um, active times that hasn't come yet hopefully maybe down the line Facebook will be able to give you suggested times as to maybe when would be best to post your reel and then once you are ready you can schedule that reel so that is how you schedule both Facebook Instagram posts and reels through the Facebook meta business studio hope you found it useful so I hope you found today's Twyford tip useful. Definitely the Facebook uh, Meta Business Suite is a fantastic resource, central collection of tools that will enable you to do so much on your Facebook page. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and share with your community. And I will be back soon with some more Twyford tips. Take care.